Time Camp Tutorial for Beginners, Full Time Tracking and Project Management Demo. Hey guys, welcome to Time Camp Tutorial in which I will be showing you how you can track time and manage your projects and collaborate with your team. So let's get into it. First of all, what you're going to do is you're going to go to timecamp.com and you will land on this website right here. Timecamp offers a variety of different, uh, you know, features. It allows you to track time, to create invoices, to manage your productivity, to collaborate with your team and much, much more. So you can get started with Timecamp very easily. You can get a free trial as well and you can sign up using your Google account or your email address. So after you have signed up for Time Camp, this is where you will land. You can see this is our main dashboard and here we have all of the different tools. So first of all, we have the timesheet, then we have expenses, we have uh, different reports. Under reports, we will have time, finances, computer activities, custom reports. Then of course, we have our projects, tags, billing rates, users, attendance and more. So the first thing that you need to do on Time Camp is that you actually need to create a project. So for that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the projects here and it will take me to my project dashboard. And under projects, I will need to create a brand new project so that I can get started. Now this project can be of any type. So all you have to do is just click on new project. And now you can see we will have to give a name to our project. So for the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna call it test project. So we're just gonna call it test one. And we're going to just click on create new project and you will see the project will be created. Now, of course, I can do more with, with my project. So this is the name and then we have assigned people or group. And then we have the description of the project. So here as well, I'm just going to go ahead and just write like test and dot, dot, dot for the purpose of the video. And then we're going to scroll down to budget. Now, this one is important if you want to go with estimated hours or estimated fee. So this is going to be an hourly project and we will be, you know, tracking time for it. So I'm going to go with this and then we have defined the tag list. If you want to add a different tags, you can also do that. Click on save and your new project will be saved right here. So now you can see I have created a project. We can also import or export projects very easily. You can also edit a project once you have created it. You can click on these three dots. You can customize it as well. Of course, you can like maybe like give different colors. If you want to duplicate the project, if you want to delete it, move it or archive, you can do from here. This here right here is going to be the, uh, you know, dashboard for your project. And then we have this option right here. This button allows me to add a task, a specific task to my project. So you can see this is the project that we have created. Now, after creating the project, the second step that you need to do is you need to add some team members. So you're going to go to the users under team, and this is where you will add the team members. Now, you also get this option at the top here where it says invite your team. So here I'm going to click on invite people, and this is where we need to enter an email address um, of the person we want to invite, of course. So I'm going to quickly do that. After entering the email address, then you're going to select the user. If it's more than one, you can also create a team. You can also, you know, select the um, different access of this person. Click on send invite and invitation will be sent to this person and they will be able to join your team. So this is where you will create your, you will add your members and you will create a team to track time. So now that we have created the users, we have created the project. Now I can actually go ahead and go to the time sheet here so under timesheet we'll be able to see all of the different billable hours and different uh, you know tasks that we have created so what we're going to do is you can see here we have the simple layout for creating or tracking time all you have to do is just add what are you working on so let's say that there is this new task that i want to work on so i'm just going to go with task new then we're going to click on project and we're going to be adding the project name. So you can see this is the project that I'm adding and then we're just going to click on start and the timer will start. So you can see now the clock has started to track the time. I can of course do anything I want to. I can move around and I can like track time of this person. Uh, so here we can also add the user. Now what happens with this is that you want to maybe like track time for a specific person. So you can also track time for that person. So then we have the expenses. Now, after the timesheet, of course, expenses is an important part of time tracking. This is where we can add our first expense. I'm going to click on add. And what we have to do is we have to create a category. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new category, which is the marketing. 
click on save and the category is here now we're going to go ahead and add an amount so let's say that this specific service is hundred dollars then we have the description so in description we're just going to go ahead and add the dots for now then we have the project name so the project i'm going to select the one that we just created then we have the team member we will select the team member here so i'm going to select the new team member that we have just invited we can now select if it's going to be billable hour or not so i'm going to select billable and then we have attach file so this is where i can add a file or drop here so now we're going to just click on save and you'll see that a brand new expense has been created according to the amount uh, now we're going to go ahead and go to the time here under reports now in reports i'll be able to get the summary details by dates we have different you know filters when it comes to the time and then we have the finances so even with the finances we have billable estimates costs and margins so i'm going to stop the timer so that we can like move to other things for example in finances i will go to billable and non-billable hours now this is where i can create the invoice as well or i can export my you know uh, finance uh, details and reports uh, and then we have the computer activities now this one is really important when it comes to tracking time. So with time camp, you will be able to actually check out the computer activities. For example, the, uh, you know, dashboard, you can check the away time, the sites and apps that, that have been opened. So this gives you an idea of maybe like extra time or time being wasted. Then we have the timeline goals and efficiency. Then we have user statistics as well. So here we can also check the uh, monitoring and we can see what uh, time camp can do. Then we have the tags option here. Now, when you create different projects, uh, you can actually create different labels and tags to manage your tasks better or to organize them so what we can do is we can actually maybe create a tag list so you just have to add the name of the tag click on enter and it will be created maybe you can add maybe another label maybe like you click on add and it will be added right here we can create another one which is going to be maybe error click on add and you can see a tag will be created uh, and then at the bottom here we have the billable hour so to create a billable hour, what you have to do is first you have to select the currency. So I'm going to select American dollars. Then we have, if you want to go for rate value history, I'm going to turn it off. And then we have the rates. So this is where you can add the cost and the income. And you will add the default value type if it's cost or revenue. Or you can add like more rates here. So you can have more than one here. And then you can also create a specific rate for a specific, uh, you know, project or a person. So let's say that this person if i want to add their like hourly rate so i'm just going to go ahead and do that here uh so maybe like it's 20 for the income and the cost is like maybe like 10 so then this way i can i will have an idea that each person what kind of you know billing or billable hours they have worked and then we have the users the option that i just showed you where we can add our different team members and then we have attendance where i can check the attendees and i can check like how these are actually the analytics or kind of like the reports of the people uh, that how many hours they have worked or when they were working it's with some working day or non-working day so i will get all the details right here now time camp is really easy to use and it's all in one platform for project management and for time tracking time tracking is very easy with time camp so if you run a small business and if you want to check it out, you should definitely go ahead and do that. I hope this video was a big help to you. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to the YouTube channel.